Underneath the Cherokee this morning, checking out trail damage. You can see this billows, there's the expansion joint or whatever you want to call it. All. The exhaust took a pretty good hit here. These things freaking hang down too far. I don't know why they got a freaking exhaust hanging down. I think I was hearing something. This exhaust hanger took a pretty good hit. Right here on this side, the front side of this thing. Took a pretty good hit right here. That's where you want to hit. And then the rock came back here and hit on the ex old exhaust hanger. I need to get rid of these things. Oh yeah, you can see right here where it hit this part of the hanger. This doggone bolt here, that's the part that hangs down the most and it didn't even get hit at all. So I'd still like to cut that off. Cut an inch or better off that thing. It just all depends on where the rock ends up underneath where it's gonna hit. That exhaust hanger didn't get touched. We got some rock rash on our resonator. You can see right there, along the resonator. Hit the exhaust pipe right there. Yes, yeah, freaking exhaust pipe. Yeah, you can see where we hit the exhaust pipe right there. We carried all the way down. The exhaust pipe is definitely the weak link in this thing. Took a pretty good hit on the skid plate right here. This heat shield for the drive line didn't get any mud in it this time. Didn't get any damage at all. Oh, this exhaust system. Yeah, you can see this rock took a chunk right out of this. It's a useless part of this. So we need to get rid of these hangers. Tuck this all up in here. The bellows. Oh yeah, we took some pretty good hits. See how this exhaust hanger, this rubber piece here, it's all biased way toward the front. Like it got pulled that way. That's kind of weird. You'd think it'd be biased to the back. I never noticed that before. Well, I could bend this down a little bit just for now. Bend it down a little bit and then when I put it back in, this hanger, it'll push the exhaust up when I tighten that mounting bolt and i think this is all two and a half inch exhaust here i want to reduce it down to like inch and three quarters so i get more clearance but then run the uh run out of true dual exhaust all the way back because these two two and a halves these two two and a halves this one and this one that come from the engine they come together right here to one two and a half so if I make it an inch and three quarters all the way back in a true dual, get rid of this resonator. I found some aftermarket resonators that were kind of nice. They were insul internally insulated and so forth, and they'd be smaller, and I could st stagger them here and tuck them up in here, and then run that inch and three quarters all the way back so we have more room to tuck it up in next to the drive line. That doesn't look like the drive line got hit at all. Except right there, it got mud jammed up in there, but get some smaller vibration isolators or bellows, what the hell ever you call these things. Kind of smashed all the bellows in and tore that mesh, that metal mesh. Yeah, that's good. What the hell, you guys? Come on. Thought through a lot of this stuff really well, but this exhaust system just doesn't cut it. Let's get started on this. The other thing I'm looking at the exhaust, see how this drive line gets bigger. If you put in the smaller exhaust, like the inch and three quarters, like I was saying, and then put an X pipe right here in this smallest part of the drive line so you have more clearance, put an X pipe right here, or maybe it'd have to be over here, maybe a little further, and then run these. Yeah, you want it to get aligned with the resonator back here. I don't know, you'd have to figure it out, but then. X pipe here so they join or you want that cross over there so the two sides connect and then then from behind there you run the inch and three quarters all the way back I think this is the place to make your crossover instead of here make it back here and then they smash this pipe down see where they smash this pipe down right here to clear the drive line this makes more sense to do this cr crossover Further forward where the drive line's smaller. Out of the way. I don't I think that'll work. This is our weak link right now. And like I say, you know, if I got a lift on this thing, a lift costs a bunch of money. 
and then lift it a couple inches and then you you get in the stuff and you still hit this exhaust because it's exposed so let's take care of this exhaust first i think that's the smart thing to do